Okay, so let's take a look at multi-box shipments in GroovePacker and how to use them. So multi-box shipments are going to be used whenever you want to keep track of which items were scanned into the various cartons of an order. So we have all these items, 96 items here in an order, and we're going to start scanning these and keeping track of which box they go into. So I'll scan the first item and we'll see that a box is automatically created for us and it's labeled box 1 and we see that that item shows up there. Now I'm just going to use a type in count to add all of the items of this type into the box. So we see we have our full case of this item. So now we'll switch to the next box and we can do this either by clicking the icon here or we can scan a barcode uh, that will automatically create and move us to the next box. So I'm just going to click the icon and now we see that we have box 2 and it is current so as items are scanned they now go into the second box. We also have the ability to move between boxes while we're scanning the order. So if we find that we have a little bit more room in a previous box and we want to scan some of this item into it, we can just click that arrow to move to the previous box and begin scanning there and the newly scanned items will be added to that box. It's also possible to remove items from a box after they've been scanned into it so that they could be scanned into another box. So let's say I scan an item and I can't make it fit. So I can click here on this remove icon and that pulls one of those items out of the box and then I can go to um, an existing box or a new box and I can scan that item in. We have two barcodes that can be used to navigate between boxes. One is box next, which looks just like this. So this can be printed out from the settings in GroovePacker and used to move to the next box and create the next box if it doesn't exist. So we'd scan this barcode and that's going to change to the next box there. All right, and if we wanted to back up and move to the previous box, we can scan box priv, just like that, and that moves us back to the previous box. So now that we know how to scan items into boxes and navigate between them and remove items from boxes, uh, we can take a look at how you would print the packing slips for each of these individual boxes. So we have three main options. One is to do it manually, and that's usually done using this icon here. So by clicking this print icon, it generates a box packing slip for the current box which will include the box number, the total number of items in the box, and a list of those items. The same packing slip can be created for us automatically. When we create the new box, it will automatically print for the box that we just finished packing. And the third option that we have is to automatically print the packing slip for all of the boxes once the last item in the order is scanned. And we have the option to go back and print packing slips for all of the boxes or individual boxes by clicking on the order number to open the order detail window and then navigating to the multi-box info tab. So each of the boxes in the order is listed here. We can move between them by clicking the box number. And we have a couple printing options. One is to print packing slips for all boxes, and another is to print for selected boxes. So we just choose the option we want and then click the print icon right there, and it will create the print job for us. All right, and then you see we have three different boxes, each, their, each packing slip listing the items in those orders. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Bye.